This is part three of the Mr. Series Monsoon Deep Dive into the hidden alternate modes of the Parasite's firmware. What is looping delay? Simply put, it is a digital delay. This mode will play back audio from the buffer continually depending on how intense the feedback signal is coming in. How it does the delay is it does, like all the other modes, it takes input signal and records it to a buffer that's usually between 1 and 8 seconds long. It reads back from the buffer based on position of where it's pulling, pulling the data back. And in that, it is kind of like a delay time. Because if it's, if it's down here towards the, towards the lower end, it's pulling out data early in the buffer, so it sounds like a quicker delay. And out here at the end is a longer delay. So first, let's go into de looping delay mode by holding the button down for two and a half seconds and then tapping until we get to mode three. And now we're in looping delay mode. And now I'll, I'll start the clock and we'll listen to what it sounds like. This is fully dry, so it's the raw signal coming in from plates. Like with all the modes, you have to mix in some of the processed signal. So now we're going to talk about the sliders and their varying functions. Again, this, this slider acts like a, a time delay. So the further down it goes, the quicker the delay time. Let me turn up some feedback so you can hear longer tails. So again, this is acting just like a regular delay would. Pushing it upwards is a slower delay. And you can really hear the effect once the feedback is up a little. So again, it's, this mode is acting pretty much like a traditional traditional uh, digital delay. So I'm going to make it kind of quick here. Pulling density down again makes it kind of like um, rougher grains, whereas moving it up makes them smoother. Almost like it puts a little attack on the attack curve on the beginning of the grains. Now the size I'm noticing doesn't really seem to do anything uh, ex unless it's in freeze mode. So if I put this in freeze right now and go fully wet, size is in the middle, but I'm going to bring the size down. It's, it's changing the loop duration, so how quickly the loop loops. So this is again how quickly it, it goes through the loop, that, that the little buffer that's in memory. So again, when you're modulating all this, that could have an interesting effect in your in your back tracks, backing tracks. But otherwise, I don't really hear size doing much of anything. And then texture is again low pass, high pass. So it's low pass. and high pass. Uh, I guess I didn't cover the stereo knob in the other mode. It's the same same thing. It's just it's just a disbursement of the of the grains throughout the stereo field. So then another interesting thing, of course, is this tuning knob, because remember, the tuning knob is what changes the audio that's in the buffer. So if you mix it with the raw signal and start changing that, that's when things start leaving the road and start 
start going off the reservation, as they say. I started having some pretty interesting sonic, sonic uh, responses. So as you can see, the looping delay again kind of stops having just a looping delay effect and starts falling into the patterns of all the other modes within Monsoon. Some things just wind up being common because of the, just the way it's wired. So I'm going to plug in a few of my, my modulation sources real quick. Starting with Freeze. My freeze gate here, it's, got, it's randomly sent to, to turn on gate, turn on freeze and turn it off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some LFOs just around and see what happens. I'm gonna go into uh, position and texture and feedback. And I'm gonna mix in some of the wet. So you could turn up the wet even more to get some of that original signal out of there and deal only with the remainder. So moving position over to something else like, uh, what do we want to mess with? Let's do wet and dry. And then I could take this, uh, this sample and hold again into Volt Per Octave. Oops, that's <laughs> not even the right model. Into Volt Per Octave. So that should turn this tuning knob. So again, you just wind up with a lot of uh, a lot of interesting different sounds in here. The honestly, the best thing you could do with Monsoon is modulate it. Once I start getting these modulation points in here, this is kind of where all these modes start to sound the same. So I won't go into too much more detail with that, but that is basically what the uh, looping delay sounds like. It sounds just like a, a regular delay unit uh, with, with feedback and stereo, reverb options, uh, wet and dry mix, and uh, time delay. Time delay, and if you put it in freeze mode, you have a size slider to choose looping, uh, loop, the loop duration. All right, that's it for looping delay. Uh, coming up next, we will talk about, ooh, spectral madness. Stay tuned. <laughs> 